In this video, we're gonna be talking about how to install this high security door lock, which is called the Defender Security Lock by Primeline. And I'll be showing you step-by-step -step how to install this lock. So before you use those handy little timestamps I have in the description, I have a very impassioned plea to make to you. And that is please like and comment to the video. The reason I say that, and yes, I choreographed this movement just for this, is if we could reach 50 likes and 10 comments, that would be amazing. And I feel like the YouTube algorithm would probably really like that. So if you will, like, comment on the video. 50 likes, 10 comments would be amazing. Thank you. You might want to install this lock to keep the bad guys out of your house, as you can see here on the packaging, or you might want to install this lock if you're like me and you have toddlers that have figured out how to unlock the front door and you don't hear them for a minute and randomly they're just outside in the front yard. So that's why I'm installing this. I have nothing of value in my home other than my family. And quite frankly, I would like to keep them in the house. So that's why I'm doing this. This is the lock that we'll be installing. It's the Defender Security by Primeline High Security Door Lock. So besides having the lock, you'll also need a drill with a bit to be able to pre-drill the holes as well as a Phillips head bit to install the screws. You'll need a marker as well as a hammer and chisel in case you need to actually uh, take out some of the molding to make the lock fit. And you might need some sort of oscillating tool as well to, to cut that opening just to make your life a little bit easier. So what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and look at your door and figure out the approximate height you want the lock to, to be at. Obviously tall enough where children can't uh, undo it. So, and what I'm doing here is I'm just simply testing the fit. So in my case, the lock actually slides in no problem. So I'm not going to have to remove any sort of molding or anything, so that's great. But I will show you what I would do if I, if I had to do that, right? So I'm just going through and I'm getting a good fit for the lock. I'm taking my marker here and throwing the lid down in disgust. And I'm just going to go ahead and mark the location of the lock, right? So I've marked the top and the bottom. Now I'm going to mark the back where the lock would go. And then from here, I would either use the hammer and chisel, and I'm of course using a screwdriver as a stand-in because I actually don't own a chisel to my shame. Or So you could use the hammer and chisel to notch out the uh, molding here, or you could use the oscillating tool, which would be a lot easier uh, to go in and just cut out the opening so that your particular lock can fit in. Once again, in my case, I did not have to do that. It fit fine without going through that process. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mark a hole uh, or mark a point for the first screw to go in. You can go ahead and mark all the locations, but the instructions actually recommend that you go ahead and put in this first uh, screw that I'm showing here, that one in the very front. So you can go ahead and dry fit the door to make sure that it's going to work uh, with no problem. So I've pre-drilled the hole as you have saw. I've gone ahead and I'm just tightening in that screw now. And now I'm going to test fit the door to make sure that it will actually go in and that the lock uh, will actually close. Once that's verified, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to drill the three holes that I need for my screws. That's all I'm doing here, just for example, is showing you how I would go about doing this. These are the screws that come with the lock, but I would recommend going ahead and replacing those screws with some that actually have some more sheer strength. And I'll throw a recommendation up on the screen of some screws that I would suggest that you use. Uh, but the reason why you want screws with good sheer strength is it's very possible that with the way if someone was trying to break into your home, those screws could shear off under force uh, unless you're using some screws that have inherent shear strength. So all I'm doing is I'm installing my own screws here to install the lock. You'll see that it's good and firm, the lock works fine. So I actually hired a special friend to come out and test this door and the strength of this lock. Uh, it's actually overweight emo Robert Pattinson Batman, if you can believe it. Uh, so here, the first thing he's going to do is take the wreath off the door because that will make, you know, wives mad if you break their wreaths. But he's now going to test the strength of the door and say famous Batman things like, Martha, I am vengeance. Do you bleed? You will. As you can see, he clearly had to switch shoulders because he was giving out. Um, and he's now going to have to walk it off because the lock held and the door is undamaged and uh, Yeah, that was that was tough for him some of the worst acting he's ever done 
but as you can see it's very easy to lock this once you've practiced a couple times to lock and unlock it without even looking at it of course you can also see here the door is unlocked i'm just going to go ahead and lock it and i'm going to test that handle you can see that with some force of a, a grown man who is also a kid uh, it stays closed so that's the video i hope you've enjoyed it i hope that you've liked the video 50 likes that's the goal it's a meager goal but i think it's really going to help the youtube al algorithm if i can say algorithm that's a tricky word to say uh, but also 10 comments would be great you know an emoji a smiley face a mad face if i've offended you anything like that you know just drop something down there um, because the youtube algorithm is looking for that these days as well and as always i will contribute whatever random projects i'm working on i will add them to the youtube pool I'm going to work on getting more consistent with my videos, so if you've not subscribed, please consider doing so. Thanks.